I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboards But now you're gone and leaving nothing but a sign Hello there, it's Lucy Kushinada from Cyberpunk Edge Runners it's Manic Pixie Danny, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about costume play, in short, cosplay. This was coined in the 80s and popularized in the 90s. Nowadays, it is super popular, almost as popular as gaming. That being said, a lot of people want to start cosplaying or take it seriously as a profession. So in this video, you're gonna find out all my tips, everything I learned over the years of cosplaying since 2012 <laughs> and a lot more. So welcome back students aka Pixies. If you'd like to learn about that, then keep on watching. How do you start cosplaying? If you're gonna start in this day and age, you're lucky. <laughs> because back in my day, <laughs> costumes were not ready to wear and easily available on online shops. So everyone had to make their own costumes or have them commissioned. That being said, it is easier and more convenient for newbies and veterans alike to cosplay whoever they want, whenever they want, in a shorter time frame than you normally take. <laughs> As an official Genshin Impact content creator, that is very essential to me because I do want to cosplay the latest characters from the new updates. But speaking of ready-to-wear cosplay costumes, I do recommend Roll Cosplay because of the fast shipping as well as my discount code GermanicPixieDanny so you can save money and get all your cosplay needs. Of course, the link will be in the description, so do check it out. So, what skills do you need to learn to improve in cosplaying? First and foremost, cosplaying isn't only about making your own costumes. There's a lot that goes into it. So of course, besides learning how to sew, I do highly recommend learning how to improve your makeup, do different styles of makeup, maybe play around different types of eyeliner or prosthetics even. You could also try your hand at styling wigs. Another thing I highly recommend for starting cosplayers is to learn how to do self-portraits. Using a tripod, having the correct lighting, having a nice background. This is a skill you can learn because it will be easier to release content about your cosplayers and cheaper as well. Of course, if you're going to learn how to do self-portraits, I do also recommend learning how to edit your own photos and videos. Last but not the least, I highly recommend learning different mannerisms or poses for your characters. Of course, if you're going to pick a character, you have to pick a character that you relate to possibly or you love the personality of. So yeah, an example would be like how I learned Viper's voice lines and even created a voice changer and used that in Conquest Festival. So during that cosplay convention, I was speaking as Viper and my voice would be distorted and all scary. It was so cool because I scared our bouncer even. <laughs> Your cosplay does not end with the appearance. It also can show if you're cosplaying with your voice, with your facial expressions, poses. You are feeling the character. You are pretending you are the character. That's the point of it all. Anyway, if you'd like to learn more about these specific points, then let me know in the comments so I can make a video specifically for these ones. Especially photo editing and video editing, I think, or even cosplay makeup and wig styling because I think those would really help you out. Now let's talk about the basics or essentials you're gonna need if you're gonna be a cosplayer. First and foremost, I do recommend hoarding a lot of bobby pins because they're gonna disappear everywhere. Or safety pins as well because your costumes may have costume malfunctions or wardrobe malfunctions in a convention or photo shoot. It's always great to be prepared. Another essential you need is a lot of hair nets. 
just like bobby pins these disappear out of nowhere i don't know why but it's good to always have extra hair nets especially since wearing more than one can help hold your hair down under your wig another one would be fashion tape this keeps your costume in place <laughs> so it doesn't go in the wrong places and it stays put speaking of tape you might also want to get yourself some face tape so this one would lift your face and somewhat like a fox eye effect and it would create a more anime shape or sharper shape apart from this you're gonna need a detangling brush so if you're gonna own a lot of wigs i do recommend having a reliable brush already all of these will be linked in the description for shopee of course and if you're not from the philippines or southeast asia do let me know so i can send you maybe amazon links too the next one is a new essential that i never heard of before but i'm so glad i heard from Vince cosplay get yourself furniture polish aka pledge that is like the best detangling solution in the world <laughs> i may be over exaggerating whatever but it smells good this being said you should also consider getting hairspray especially if you're gonna be styling your own wigs from now on it will keep the style in place last but not the least a wig stand so now that i have one i can style my wigs better and more efficiently overall all of these are just tools that will make your life easier and make it more put together but at the end of the day you can always start with what you have especially if you're just starting out or if you're still a student and not earning your own money yet at the end of the day cosplaying should be about having fun and it's not really that complicated as much as other art forms so just let your passion for the anime or video game etc show through your portrayal of the character and enjoy but since you already mentioned the topic of earning from your content or cosplaying i do want to recommend you to gank if you haven't heard yet, I'm now working with Gank as their in-house content creator aka YouTuber and you can check out my videos on Gank Studios channel as well. So everything you want to learn about earning from your hobbies and using Gank as a platform, you can check that out on that new channel. Of course, my creative classes series will still be continued on my main channel and I'm still gonna be streaming here and sharing my music and more. So make sure you subscribe to the both of us and stay tuned for new episodes and streams. Once again, this is Manic Pixie Danny and if you liked my Lucy cosplay, do consider donating and helping me out with my next cosplay goals through my gang. Thank you so much to my supportive pixies, you mean a lot to me. Anyway, this class is over. I hope to see you on the moon. <laughs> Just kidding. I hope to see you in my next class and in my future live streams. Goodbye, Pixies.